today's Sunshine Note is titled, One Weird Story. Now there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord, and Satan also came among them. The Lord said to Satan, From where do you come? Then Satan answered the Lord and said, From roaming about on the earth and walking around on it. The Lord said to Satan, Have you considered my servant Job? For there is no one like him on the earth, a blameless and upright man, fearing God and turning away from evil. Then Satan answered the Lord, Does Job fear God for nothing? Have you not made a hedge about him and his house and all that he has on every side? You have blessed the work of his hands, and his possessions have increased in the land. But put forth your hand now and touch all that he has. He will surely curse you. Then the Lord said to Satan, Behold, all that he has is in your power. Only do not put forth your hand on him. So Satan departed from the presence of the Lord. Job chapter 1, verse 6 through 12. Okay, I admit it, this is one weird story. Some think that Job is a parable for us to learn from. Others think that Job was a literal person and that the events in this story happened just as written. For sure, the book of Job is unusual. It is one of the only three books in the Old Testament that mention Satan by name. Many theologians think that the Israelites did not know much about Satan, so God got all the credit and the blame for supernatural events. Then there is the part about God and Satan striking a deal over Job to test his faith. God gives Satan permission to strike Job's possessions and even Job's health. This seems to fly in the face of what the rest of the Bible says about God, the devil, and God's people. So how are we to read the book of Job? As we go through the story and focus on some of its verses together, I would like to suggest that we discover the beauty and the power of God and learn what it means to live a life of faith in a world full of the devil's schemes. The first lesson I would like to focus on is in Job chapter 1, verse 21 and 22. Through all his pain, Job decides to remain faithful and not curse God because of his problems. Instead, even in his agony, he blesses the Lord. That, my friend, takes great faith. God is not the author of pain and trouble. He is our Redeemer from it. May God bless you today.